Hi there, welcome to CA Service Management. In this video we will cover the heat configuration. Let me introduce you to Jack. He is the administrator at example.com. Jack is aware of the difficulties faced by the IT analysts to manually prioritize and manage the backlog of tickets. This invariably has an impact on their productivity and also affects the customer experience. Jack has learned about the new feature heat that enables L1 analysts to prioritize the tickets. Let us see how Jack configures heat. So, what is heat? Heat is a composite representation of various attributes and conditions that define the criticality of a ticket. By configuring heat, an IT analyst can prioritize tickets and the amount of attention a ticket must receive. Verify the following prerequisites. Number 1. Decide the heat configuration name and code. For example the heat configuration can be named as heat configuration for level 1 team in New York. And the code can be NY underscore in. Number 2. Based on your environment, decide the attributes and assign weightage to calculate the heat of the ticket. For example, one of the attributes is priority 1 and the weightage assigned to it is 10. When a ticket meets this condition, 10 points are assigned to the ticket. At last, define the minimum and maximum threshold. These values will define the heat range of the ticket. Now log into the CA Service Desk Manager as an administrator and navigate to the Administration tab. From the left navigation pane, select XFlow Analyst Interface and select Heat. And click Create New. Enter the heat configuration name. and select the heat configuration status as active. Click to look up for a group. The tickets belonging to the group are considered for calculating heat of the ticket. Specify the object type as an incident or a request. Specify the minimum and maximum threshold to calculate range for the heat configuration. For example, you can define the minimum threshold as 10 and the maximum as 30, and the range will be calculated based on the threshold values. In that case, tickets with 0 to 10 weightage will be considered low heat tickets. Tickets with 11 to 30 weightage will be medium heat tickets, and tickets with above 30 weightage will be high heat tickets. Also describe the heat configuration in detail. and click Save to submit the heat configuration form. Based on example.com's environment, Jack has decided to add the following attributes. The attributes, priority 1, 2, and 3 are mutually exclusive. As a ticket can only have one priority at any point in time, Jack has grouped them under the attribute group termed priority. As the attribute major incident is not mutually exclusive here, it does not belong to any attribute group. Click the Create New button to add an attribute. Enter the label name for the heat attribute. Here, we are adding the label as Priority 1. Enter the internal code for the heat attribute. Specify the weight based on the criticality in your environment. Describe the heat attribute in detail. Mention the condition for the heat attribute. Optionally, you can create an attribute group if the attributes are mutually exclusive, and provided a name to the attribute group. Click Save. Click the Create New button to add another attribute. Repeat the steps to add the attribute priority to.
If the attribute belongs to an existing group, select the group from the drop-down list and click Save. Jack has repeated the steps and added the other attributes such as Priority 3, Major Incident, predicted SLA violation today and SLA violated. Jack has successfully configured heat based on the environment of example.com. Dustin, the IT analyst is provided with a prioritized backlog of tickets which can now be accessed from the XFlow analyst interface. You now have an overview of heat as a concept. Understand the benefits of heat and also learned how an administrator can configure heat. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you found this helpful.